What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr. 75 Caprice here with another video. Who is cold guys? It's supposed to be colder tomorrow. Tomorrow guys is supposed to be like 15, 10 degrees. It's cold. But today guys, luckily we have a shop to work on, right? So, Monte Carlo. It's gone. Not like gone gone, but it's put up in the other shop. Because we need the room, we need to clean up guys. We haven't been here in like, we haven't really been working on uh, stuff, but I think it's time because you know this weather, it's cold. So we gotta use the shop. We gotta take advantage of the shop. So with that being said, today we're gonna be working on this box Chevy. This is the one that we just recently picked up not too long ago. Not gonna do much guys, we're just gonna be doing some minor changes and then it's going up for grabs. Um, yep, so we're gonna be doing today. Just trying to warm up. Gonna change the battery. Uh, make sure everything's good with it. And yeah, wash it. And what else? That's pretty much it, guys. We're gonna do some slight changes and put it up for the market. Let someone else uh, do their own things to it, you know? Uh, but yeah, just stay tuned. guys finally all done with washing the 1990 chevy caprice ls brome that is now available up for grabs guys so if you guys are interested here it is so we're gonna start with the whole front end um you can see it has full impact strip full bumper filler all there got the emblem It out. Mm -hmm. So this is the 1990, which is the last of the box Chevys, guys. They didn't make no more after 1990. They didn't make them in 1991, 1992, none of that. 1990 was the last of the box Chevy, which is this right here, guys. So this one does have the corner light. This is a fully loaded one, guys. It just doesn't have leather, but it is fully loaded. We're gonna get to that. So we do got the light. When you turn the signal, that light turns on. Um, we should see if it works right. Just because we add it right now. Might as well, let's try it so we can uh, see if it works. So let's put the key forward. And I don't know if it 
turn it on. Well, that one didn't turn on, so that means that that one doesn't work. It's still blinking, so um, this one doesn't blink, it just lights up. It's pretty much like a, to eliminate the side, so when you turn it, I guess it just lights up right here. Let's see, maybe the passenger side works. Just some bulbs. Maybe I have some, maybe I'm not. I'm gonna check, but nope, that one don't work either. So, those are the signals, the front and the side. This is the same, but I thought this would work. Hmm. I guess I didn't check them out, guys. I didn't drive the car, so we ended up trailering it. All right, let's continue with the walkthrough, and then we'll get to the inside. So, um, car has been repainted at one point. I'm not sure when, guys, but I can tell that it's been painted. Um, it does got the metal molding. It's got all the rocker trim, wheel wheel trim. I will add a pinch drive. I don't know if I got one. If I have one, I'll probably put it on. I'm not sure. I'm gonna check to see if I have one. It's gotta be a silver one because the interior is gray. Or gray pinch drive. Here's the roof. Top looks in good shape. Don't see. I'm pretty sure the top has been redone, guys, because this does not look like the factory. It don't even got the stitchings right here. So pretty much car has been painted at one point and top has been redone. Uh, bumper fillers have been done. Impact strip is all there. Look at that. We got the key lock for the trunk. Doesn't got the emblems. But I mean, the car is complete, guys, and it is solid. Like, you really don't see any rust, but we're gonna get to that right now. Just doing a full walkthrough right now. Um, it does have aftermarket LED opera lights right here. And they work. I'll show you guys right now. So yeah, guys, let's get to it. Starting off right here. Let me show you guys the uh, upper lights. Make sure that they work. Because I already lied about the other one. Well, I didn't lie. I just did not know they didn't work. But look at these. These have been redone. So both sides work. Let's make sure. We've got the driver's side working. Let's make sure that. Yep. Passenger side is working. Mm-hmm. So we got the passenger side. How about the tail lights? Tail lights are all working. Yep, they all are. Even the side ones. I believe in the front we do got some um, either LEDs or HIDs. Let's check them out. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Mm hmm. Pretty nice. All right, let's turn them off because that's annoying. Okay, okay, okay. All right, guys, here we got the driver's side. So being that it's a 1990, guys, this is the only year that they put the C belt on the door, for those that don't know. So if you guys wanna know a main difference between a 90 and the rest of the years, it's gonna be this right here. This is the only year that's gonna have the C belt on the door. See that? On the door, guys. So this is an all add-on part that the other ones don't have. Only the 1990 have the C belt on the door. And it's only the front doors, not the back, just the front ones. So if you guys ever want to figure out if your car is a 90, if you don't know for whatever reason, or if you're buying one and they tell you it's a 90, they got to have the seatbelt on the door, guys. Okay, so um, right here we got the power windows, power seats. Okay, it's working. Got the power locks. They work. Door light works. Nice. All right. You see them jams and rockers. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the back. Here's the back. Not missing anything with the pull straps. Got everything on it. It's just dirty, guys. Just dirty. Look at them doors. Look at that door in the front. Clean. Rockers. And jams. Mm -hmm. Here's the back seat. So you see the T bills are here normal. Just the front, guys. Just the front. Got an aftermarket steering wheel. Got an aftermarket steering column. Look at that. It's got a chrome steering column, guys. This is not factory. So, uh, previous owner added that. He did tell me. So it does got an aftermarket chrome steering column what's the mileage in here mm, why is it so 
blurry can't see i think it says this chrome column making it harder for us guys it says 27 so i want to say it's got 127 but we won't actually know the accurate miles. oh we got a sticker right here so so right there it says oops let's focus on that I don't know why it's not focusing right there, guys. It says 20,000, but that's because it doesn't have a number in the front. Got an aftermarket radio. What brand is this? Mm, Opla? I don't know. I don't see. Oh, Dual. Cheap brand. Dual right here. Got the ashtray right here in the bottom. Got the controls. Cigarette lighter. I wonder if it works. I don't think it works. Well, I'm not gonna mess with it. We got the passenger mirror um, adjuster right here. Yep, that's it for the driver's side, guys. That's it for the driver's side. Let's move on to the passenger side. All right, let's start with the back door real quick. Okay, here we go. I don't know why this thing fell off. This thing like the velcro kind of giving up but there we go still there not missing guys okay oh we are missing one thing right here okay we are missing one guys like i said a little dirty where's my rag oh well, there we go clean look at them doors mm -hmm. those rockers here goes the jab mm -hmm. Okay, okay, let's see the passenger side. Here we got the passenger side again with the seatbelt, guys. You see it 1990 power locks, power seat, and does it work? Ooh, it works. So, yeah, guys, that's why it's fully loaded. This thing got uh, dual power seats in the front and power locks and power windows. So a lot of the cars don't got dual power seats. They'll have it on the driver's side, but not on the passenger side. So the fully loaded one, it's gonna have it on the passenger side. A little dirty, needs a, needs a good cleaning. Another cool thing about this car, guys, they look at that dash. The dash does not have one crack. That's pretty nice. Look at that. No cracks. Makes it pretty nice. And it's hard to find a clean dash like that. Right here, we got the owner's manual. That's about it. What else we got here? And we got the key. Not sure what this key's for. Okay. Okie dokie. All right, guys. Well, all the doors are open. Let's pop the hood, show you guys the drivetrain, which is original drivetrain, I believe. I don't think they it's been swapped for another one but we wouldn't know but it does have a v8 305 voila so probably won't be able to read nope but it is a 305 5.0 guys mm -hmm. it's a little weird because i rinse it off but you guys see it it's pretty much all original don't see nothing aftermarket well at least not visible mm -hmm. we can start up in a little bit and let me just show you guys the trunk we do got a pop trunk let's see if it works oh, the key gotta be forward mm -hmm. heard that thing pop heard it pop Okay, there's a trunk. Nothing much to see here, guys. We got some speakers there, yep. I wonder if the jack is there, I can't tell. Spare is definitely not there, cause it's not there. Got the stickers on the trunk, mm-hmm. Yep, looks like the original color was white, so at least the car got painted back original color. Let's see if it starts, guys. Where's the keys? Uh, oh, they're on the ignition. I don't know why I'm looking for them. 
So this is throttle body, fuel injected, so it's not. You don't gotta pump, guys. All you gotta do is turn the ignition and that's it. Starts right up. Like there's a vacuum leak, but check it out right now. But at least y'all can hear it. It does got an exhaust muffler broken. If y'all see when we pick this thing up, let me turn it off, guys. If you guys remember picking this thing up, it does have an exhaust or muffler broken right here that is being held on by a strap. Just so you guys know, I haven't took it in over to get fixed. I just Trying to get this thing, you know, I'm, I'm trying to catch up on things guys. We got so many things. We got Christmas coming up and it's just Don't have time really, but um, I know people have been asking me for this car. So It is an inventory car. This was going up for grabs. So if anybody's interested Or have any more questions, let me know if you guys need to see additional pictures or whatever uh, Floors are good on this seeing that when I purchased it I think you can see that and uh, in the video when I purchased it but like I said if you guys need any additional additional more pictures or videos or whatever you need guys let me know uh, cars here inside you don't have to freeze looking at a car you're more than welcome to come check it out with no pressure you know I want you to find the right car that you're looking for I know these cars are hard to come across especially rust-free so Everybody's looking for something different. Some are looking for projects. Some are looking for fixer uppers for whatever Whatever the occasion is, you know Everybody uh, got their own like so this might be the one for you. This might not be some might like the 90 with the C bill some don't But yep, it's here guys It's here So honestly guys um, I think price for this car is gonna be Oops, thing fell again. Uh, we're probably gonna start off at 11,000 just to see what it do. Just try to move it fast, but it is Christmas. I know everybody's trying to be um, secure for Christmas, you know, on the gifts and all that stuff for, you know, Christmas is expensive. It is an expensive holiday that you need to make sure you have um, gifts for your loved ones and stuff, so. This thing keeps falling. So probably have to put new double-sided tape. But yep. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> but yeah, guys. 1990 Bach Chevy. Let me know, guys. For faster response, guys, go on my Instagram, Mr. Seventy Five Caprice. That's like where I get more of the DMs. I know I don't see a lot of messages because a lot of them go to spam, and it just makes it harder. Because I have a lot of actually uh, spam uh, messages, so I gotta go through a lot of them. But just comment on it; it'll be listed on Instagram, so you can go underneath and comment. All right. Well. We'll see what tomorrow brings us, guys. And for those that uh, are not looking to buy, get on the comment section and let me know what y'all think of this 1990 box Chevy. Mm-hmm. Well, it's time to go home, guys. Another quick walkthrough, just... Mm-hmm.